Alberta. Part of its charm is its low-key, easy warmth. A place people find comfortable, relaxing, where the sounds are gentle and familiar. That is, until a radio company called j came to town a few years ago and bought two radio stations, one AM and one FM. Come on. Let's talk about sex. Can I tell you something, Seymour? Sure. These, these women are not only here, they're not only beautiful, but they are all naked. Uh, you want to read that uh, letter there? I've heard more sex on your show than I've almost experienced in real life. And if that works, we'll have them, one of the women put their breasts on the mic. Burns, baby, turn up your pants. This one's for you. <laughs> J-Cor transformed the FM station from light rock into the new WFLZ, the Power Pig taking it to number one with hot dance music loaded with sexual innuendo. When you start making love, uh -oh. you make it hard, long, so short, and be stroking. They gave the AM talk radio station, WFLA, an aggressive style in which on-air personalities cursed and yelled at listeners. I gave you about 13 damn things to talk about. Would you go off your ass and pick up the phone for a change? Mostly, they insulted callers with their version of attack radio. Yeah, it's damn profound and dead on the money, too, isn't it, Bozo? That's why you're sitting there on, on a Tuesday afternoon listening to talk radio rather than out there defending people making money. Get off my phone, you jerk. Former FLZ music director Bob Cummings. And I can truthfully say that working for JCOR was, uh, was nine months from hell. The folks who ran j Communications were proud of their reputation as the bad boys of broadcasting. But apparently that reputation wasn't limited to the words and music they put out over the air. Indeed, what they did in pursuit of ratings seems almost mild compared to what we heard went on inside the stations. We spoke to a number of their employees, some of whom were too uncomfortable with the subject to appear on... But they told us they were startled at the emphasis the new management put on sex and incredulous over the way they treated women. What about just treating women as equals? Was that part of the philosophy there? Uh, there? Yeah. No. No, it was like there were men and then there were women. And the women were there for the men's entertainment. And if they didn't like it, then they could just get out. The atmosphere at work became intolerable for some female employees sales reps, on-air hosts, producers. As at most radio stations, women were outnumbered by men, two to one, with some reportedly made the target of crude sexual antics. Bob Cummings called it an animal house. Blatant statements to uh, female staff members about uh, various sexual acts that they like uh, performed on them. Um, I've been in this business for 16 years and never saw anyone at any station treat their female staff members this way. One supervisor at J-Corps, Randy Michaels, set the tone by accosting women with his sex toys. It was uh, one of those long, flexible rubber penises, and uh, Randy would walk up and down the hallway with it wrapped around his neck, and just uh, as a female staff member went by and say, hi, how you doing? You know, that kind of thing. And uh, they basically encouraged people to use the middle finger as uh, a sign to show that you were listening to the power pig. So people would drive down the street, and you see when you see the power pig uh, uh, van, uh, show us that you listen to, to the pig. It sounds rude. That's exactly what it is. Basically encouraged by uh, the vice president of, of programming. Uh, Randy Joel, Michaels. Uh, right, Randy Michaels. Oh, Randy's the party animal of all time. Well, when I Liz Richards was already at WFLA when... Just hope that... Uh, Waitress. Cleveland for eight years and was anchoring a phone in radio show in Tampa focusing on women's issues when the new owners arrived. Their interest in women seemed to center around constant vulgar references to female sex organs. There was a um, club that the men formed, an informal club that was women, and they would post lists of who was in the club that week and who was president of the club. What kinds of things did they call you? Oh, they called me, um, bimbo, bitch. Um, do you want me to clean them up? No, don't clean them up. Tell me exactly what it was like in the station. Very, very graphic. You had a pair of bikini underwear. 
that were thumbtacked onto the wall, and that bikini underwear um, had discharge on it because that bikini underwear came from a, a stripper that came into the station and stripped off all her clothes for somebody's birthday at a mandatory staff meeting. And they used it for scratch and sniff. Who would do that? The men in the station. And that was the...